What is good sneakerheads? Welcome to another YouTube video with your boy Prince Ali. We have a very, very special video today coming for you guys. Something that is extremely rare, hasn't even released yet. I'm super stoked for this shoe. Um, I was extremely lucky in acquiring this pair of shoes and I'm so happy to have it. I'm so glad to have it. Um, without further ado, let's get into the shoe. Uh, we also have a couple more pickups that I'll, I'll show you guys. I'm so happy that I didn't have to pay a crazy amount for it. And it hasn't even released yet. As you guys can see, it is a Kith collaboration with Adidas. I'm not sure if you guys can see that there. But um, this is uh, an Adidas box, an unusual box. And it's the A16 Pure Control Kith collaboration. Um, this is an amazing shoe. I love this color. Uh, something unique you won't see every day. Uh, it's kind of like a, it's called I think like a vapor pink or something like that. It's like a peach color. It reminds me of a flamingo. The box opens just like this. And uh, what you get in there, this is how you see the attention to detail. Um, just, you know, the shoe trees that come inside the shoes a lot harder than a normal shoe tree. Um, you get the cleaning manual and stuff like that with it. The Kith uh, paper right here. Some nice quality paper um, with the Kith uh, and Adidas branding all around. And then you get this uh, shoehorn right here that helps you uh, with the Adidas branding right there. So this helps you put on the shoe because it is a little bit hard to put on the shoe since it's a high top. There you go, there you have it. This is the infamous Pure Control Ultra Boost. This is like comfort with just amazing style. Ronnie Five does crazy collaborations. I mean, everything that he's done with Adidas has skyrocketed. Um, I mean, these things are just so nice. Has a prime knit upper, uh, a little bit more stretchy up here. Um, uh, when I put them on, they're a little tight right here so um, uh, I did go true to size but I, I suggest uh, you can either go true to size or if you don't like it the snug fit you can go up a size um, it doesn't really matter it's only uh, all on your preference um, you have over here it's this suede heel tab with adidas branding on the left shoe and on the right shoe it's gonna have the kith branding uh, these don't have a release date yet um, so I'm not sure exactly when they will release uh, but I was extremely lucky to acquire this pair so so grateful uh, it has white heel cup just like an ultra boost with the uh, all white ultra boost branding um, it has this kind of arrow thing for the pure ace control uh, on the inside the insole is non -remo removable but you can see there's, I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me try to. I don't think you guys can tell. But uh, on the interior, there's a uh, flamingo with a soccer ball, and it says Kith Flamingos. Um, just extremely little details that make the shoe, you know, uh, a step above every other shoe. You have that continental sole, you know, just like all the Ultra Boost. It's a white, nice, creamy. Really, bro? Come on, fam. I'm in the middle of a video. Say what's up to the camera, bro. Alright, let me call you back. I'm in the middle of a video. Sorry about that, guys. Um, So, like I said, the white, nice sole with the boost technology, the torsion system's white. Uh, these three stripes are 3M. I did take a picture and they shine really bright such nice shoe uh, I've never had a pure ace control so I didn't know exactly how they fit but they do seem just as comfortable as an ultra boost um, with this sock it gives you a little bit more ankle support but I'm sure you're not gonna be doing any uh, uh, athletic activities with these they're too nice to mess up I mean the quality on this is a1 uh, with the suede touches the the nice prime knit upper and uh, the all-white sole just super clean shoe to have there you have it 
that is the kit Peer Control A16 Ultra Boot. Now let's get into the other three pickups that I picked up. This is like the pitch black one. I love this shoe. It's such a great shoe to have because you can literally wear with anything. And you know, of course, Ultra Boost, you can't go wrong with the Ultra Boost. It's completely black. There's no uh, other touches of other colors except for this little gray thing right here. I wish they made it all black, but it doesn't really matter the shoe still stands out um a lot of people think it's just an all black shoe but it just i mean the way this prime knit is on the 3.0 extremely comfortable um just nice shoe i can wear it every single day i can literally have just this shoe and i'll be fine um well obviously i won't be fine that's why i have all these shoes but just a great shoe, I got it on a good deal. Um, I paid retail for it, so I uh, was pretty happy about that because these uh, have gotten a little pricey. Um, but there you go, there you have it. Triple Black Ultra Boost. This shoe right here, it's the, I'm not sure what colorway it is. I will say, this is kind of like a, like a tan, gray, charcoal uh, color with the translucent cage right here and then like an olive heel cup with the half silver half gold ultra boost branding it has a black sole which i really like i think it complements the shoe well and um it won't get as dirty uh you know with the white soles it tends to get really dirty really fast because of course you're walking on the ground so um it has an olive an olive insole and uh of course the 3.0 you guys all know the 3.0 material is just extremely comfortable on these shoes uh, just a, a great overall shoe I'm happy with this pickup I did get it under retail uh, I had like uh, the champs um, rewards or something like that and then ended up getting it for like 20 bucks under retail so I was happy about that that is the ultra boost uh, with the next pickup I got really lucky because I ended up going to uh, my local Adidas, um, Adidas Originals, and somebody had returned it in my size because it's sold out everywhere, but somebody had returned it in my size, and I ended up getting it for retail, and that shoe is most comfortable shoe, I believe, of 2017. Um, I mean, come on. Look at this boost. Like, you could, this is like a ship. Look how much it surrounds. Like, this is crazy amount of boost. The amount of boost they put into this is ridiculous. Uh, I love this colorway. The whole white. They came out with two of these. I think three, actually. They have like a navy color. Then an all black one with like the white hints. And then this is an all white one with the black hints. So it has like the black stripes right there. With the EQT branding right there. And then I love this infrared kind of like pinkish color uh the hits on the back and on the side it's just such a great shoe and it has the three the three stripes in boost right there um the eqt branding up there in the tongue it has a prime knit upper uh but it has a they use a lot of different materials on this they have some uh, suede right here uh the prime knit right here then they have like a sort of mesh up top with like a neoprene in the back um, just a great overall shoe really happy to have got it for retail I did not want to end up paying sorry about that guys sorry if it cut off and the camera angle changed a little bit the memory card that I had in there was full so I had to go grab another one real quick but um yeah let's go ahead and finish this review on this shoe uh, like I said probably the most comfortable shoe that came out in 2017 um, it does really compete with the Ultra Boost, and I mean, it's so hard to compete with that, but I didn't think they would make anything more comfortable, but this is so, it's like sit, like standing on a mountain of boost, like this thing just squishes, you know, so much, like look how much boost there is, this is so thick, you know, compared to an Ultra Boost, like it's a mountain of boost, and the white sole right here, such a nice shoe uh the aesthetic of this shoe is really nice um the only thing that's a little weird is that it has like this burrito tongue which kind of can look weird if your your foot is a, 
is a certain way if it's like too wide or something so um, that's the only thing that I have with this shoe but otherwise aesthetically it looks amazing love the shoe love the the touches of the different colors and you know the leather EQT branding right here things like that make the shoe you know a lot better um, in my opinion so there you guys have it that's uh, my new pickups with uh, the unreleased kith um, ace pure control 16 so happy to have all these shoes I'm so thankful thank you guys for watching make sure to leave a like if you like these kind of videos make sure to hit that subscribe button um, we're trying to grow our channel uh, I'll see you guys next time thank you guys for watching and uh, take care